Welcome, one and all, to the 2021 Fennec Christmas Window Reveal. We're so happy you could join us on this magical eve. We can't wait to show you what we've got up our sleeve. Now, we know it's been some time since we've all been together, so let's make this a night that we can all treasure. You can see some visitors have joined us here for the show. So let's give them a wave and say a big hello! Our crowd includes school children and friends from our community. It feels so nice to have a small audience this year, don't you agree? And look, there's Eve. She's managed to join us too. I bet she's still curious to see Santa aren't you? We're just about ready to start our show, so sit tight and we'll get ready to go. But take note, Fennec have hidden some clues in their live stream that hint to this year's window theme. So make sure you focus and watch with precision. Can you spot their 2021 Christmas window vision? What do you think the theme might be? Let us know in the comments of our very own stream. And before we reveal it to one and to all, let's remind ourselves of the meaning behind Christmas. What do you recall? Fennec were curious, so they interviewed family and friends to see what they were thankful for and what Christmas means to them. Christmas to me, it's all about the people who you're surrounded with. It's a time to celebrate, enjoy yourself. Just being able to go around and see the whole family, like everyone be together. We like to build snowmen. Christmas is so amazing and so magical. Christmas shopping for me is looking at all the gifts as I'm looking around the shop, trying to figure out what people would like. I come into Phoenix regularly. They always have lots of Christmas fairs. I'm a goods movement assistant on the receiving dock. We get all the Christmas presents in, ready to go out onto the shop floor. We've been selling a lot of advent calendars. It does get people excited. We sell it by making it magical for our customers that come in. We find that little treat that they're after for their family, uh, and we do our very best to make it magical. Christmas to me, I just love it for the food. I absolutely love cheese, alongside a piece of Christmas cake. The mince pies. I love Granny's Christmas dinner. Mine is always my grandma's desserts. Eating lots of sausage rolls. <laughs> Pigs and blankets. Pigs and blankets. Pigs and blankets. Pigs and blankets, 100%. There is no hold bars. You can eat chocolate for breakfast, chocolate for lunch, and chocolate for tea. We love chocolate. I love chocolate. I love the presents. It's about finding new little gifts. I get presents from Nana, Grandad, Dad, Mom, even sometimes with my little sister. I like coming to look through all the toys and see which ones are my, um, my favorite this year. This year I want some Lego cars. He, lo he loves cars. Fast car. Dad car. Dad is car. <laughs> Christmas for me is that childhood excitement that I still get when I put the decorations up. Christmas trees, Christmas lights, Christmas windows, everything Christmassy really. Getting all the baubles and the lights. And we've got two cats actually, so you can't really have too much going on on the tree because it'll all just come down anyway. <laughs> In Newcastle, it's definitely an amazing place to be, especially around Christmas. I love seeing the city at Christmas and seeing the lights and everything lit up. Fennec Window Reveal is absolutely phenomenal. It is the start of Christmas in Newcastle. It's like an event for people to come out and see the window, and it's amazing. I love how it's a generational thing. From being a child, it's a tradition. I have grew up coming to see the Christmas window as a child, and I have a child myself, so seeing the amazement in his eyes, that's what it's all about. As a Filipino, we actually start counting down from the start of September. It's all about Christmas from then on. 
In Brazil, we have a big party and celebrate together. And we dance a lot. I love dancing. You do it? Dancing. Have a bit of a dance, have a bit of a boogie. That is my kind of Christmas. Hopefully we get to dress up a little bit. I love a wacky woolly jumper. For us, it just brings out the, the deeper connections. Spending time with family and special people. It's a time of happiness. When everybody's happy, you just want to be able to celebrate together. The best thing about Christmas is seeing my daughter's face first thing in the morning. Minha parte preferida do Natal é celebrar com a família e participar de uma grande festa e estarmos todos juntos. Essa é a melhor parte. It's about the values around Christmas, the family, the community, and Fennec is such a big heart of the community. It's just nice to sit and reflect and appreciate each other. We get in touch with friends, the family get together just to be happy. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Well, I think we can all agree that Christmas is truly a special time of year to spend with our loved ones or whoever you hold dear. We feel so lucky that you've chosen to watch us today and celebrate Christmas in our own unique Fennec way. People from all over the world have tuned in this eve. So go on. Let us know where you're watching from on the Facebook feed. Has anyone guessed this year's Christmas window theme yet? It's definitely a special one that we're sure you won't forget. We held a competition that asked Fennec friends to design what they hoped the windows could be. Did you submit any artwork for us to see? It's not too late to share your creations, but first, let's take a look and see as a nation what arts and crafts people created straight from their imaginations. Who would like to design their own Fennec window? Fennec window, it's been a tradition for 40 years. We always went as a family tradition. I get to see it quite a few times because we take children from school. I like this dawn, it's really pretty. I've been to see loads of them. It was always a great little Christmas tradition. Do you think we could guess it? We are just designing our own ideas for Phoenix window, things to do with Christmas, what the children love about Christmas. Probably my favourite part of the year. Christmas is about spending time with the people you love the most. You get presents, you get to enjoy your time with your family. That's what makes me happy. I would be excited to design Fennec window. Because it would be like my drawing on display. I'm going to draw a snowball fight with all my family. It's a Christmas table. That's the Christmas tray outside with the presents. I'm drawing an elf breaking. That's my best friend over there. And that's her mom. I've known her since nursery. I'm painting raindrops and snowflakes going onto the snow. I'm doing a winter wonderland theme. I've drawn like the elves stuck in Santa's sleigh. Using arts and crafts with children is a great way of getting them to use their imaginations. Drawn and art, it's for all children. With art, there's no right or wrong. And it's just lovely to see what they think and feel. We love arts and crafts. Phoenix using the public to design their own window is a great idea. Getting sort of the northeast involved is a big part of Newcastle. I want chocolate on my window. My favourite one was the snowman. My window had a bear. My window had my friend. My window had a big spider in it. My favourite one was the Willy Wonka one. I'm excited for the windows. I loved Peter Rabbit because he's my favourite. Maybe one year it could be Miracle on 34th Street. My favourite was probably Paddington with his sandwiches under his hat. I'd love to see a Christmas carol. I think the theme this year could be about sort of families coming together again and kindness and sort of all being together as one. Even though I haven't got small children anymore, I love the windows, I love seeing what they are. I love Christmas. It makes people really happy and that's what Christmas is about. <laughs> Thank you everyone for sharing your artwork with us. I can truly say that it's really starting to feel like Christmas.
Can you believe? Some of the children from Biker Primary are here, showing off their artwork on this magical eve. We're just about ready to start the show, so let's see how the crowd is doing outside our windows. Our live audience tonight are so colorful and loud as we've asked them to wear their wooliest jumpers to stand out in the crowd. I hope you're wearing some wonderful woolly jumpers at home too, as I know we encouraged you to wear for tonight's big do. Oh yes, I think it might be showtime, and we're nearly there. Let's check for the live team. Are you all prepared? Okay, good. Everything seems to be working just fine. Now, we're just missing Santa to get this show out on time. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho! Hello, boys and girls! It's Santa on the rooftop. Welcome! Now, does anybody know what's in the Fennec windows this year? Well, well, well. There's only one way to find out. Shall we have a look? Let's count down from ten. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I can't believe my eyes. It's Sean the Sheep with a never before seen sneak peek of a new. 
new film called The Flight Before Christmas. Let's take a look at the windows and see what Sean and the flock get up to. Oh, Eve, would you like to narrate the story for us tonight? Great. Then off we go into the 2021 Fennec Windows. Christmas is coming to Mossy Bottom Farm. Sean the Sheep, Timmy and the Flock are all getting the barn ready. Look, there's Shirley and her bicycle invention getting the tree decorated. <laughs> oh dear, it looks like Nuts the Sheep has got all tangled in the Christmas lights. What a mess! Now, where's Timmy? There he is, holding his stocking proudly and gazing at his mum. Looks like she's using a fishing rod to put the star on the top of the tree. I think Sean is a little disappointed at the size of his Christmas stocking. Could it be any smaller? Oh dear, Sean. What will you do? Looks like Sean is up for some seasonal mischief. He's sneaking into the farmer's living room, looking for a bigger stocking for Timmy. Uh-oh. The farmer is coming down the stairs. Time for brilliant disguise. Sean rolls himself up in wrapping paper. But can he spot Timmy hiding in the gift box? Oh, look! The farmer has arrived dressed up as Santa. Hmm. Sean and Timmy have hidden so well that the farmer can't see anything out of place under his tree. Still dressed as Santa, and Bit of the Sheepdog are off to Mossingham Christmas Market. They're getting their van loaded up with presents. Sean's ripped off his wrapping paper disguise and is looking on, horrified, as he spots Timmy being loaded onto the van. Can you see Timmy? He's chuckling as wherever Santa's going, he's going. Farmer Christmas is settled into the grotto of Christmas Market. Sean, Timmy's mum and the flock have raced after the van to rescue Timmy. They have cleverly disguised themselves as a very wonky snowman. Even Bitter in his Christmas elf costume is fooled. Looks like Sean has found Timmy and he's reaching out to grab him. Oh no, he's about to be given away as a gift to be placed under someone else's Christmas tree. Can you see? The flock are all on board for a brilliant roller coaster sleigh ride through the snowy fields in the hope they can catch up and get Timmy back home to Mossy Bottom Farm in time for Christmas. Caught up with them. 
he rolled out his elf shoes to make some skis and used candy canes for sticks. Timmy back to a country manor house and have disguised themselves as carol singers to distract the owners. What a clever flock. Can you see Timmy's mum rescuing our little hero through the window? Hooray! Timmy has been saved! Flock and Bitter are together again in the barn for the best family Christmas dinner ever. <laughs> Nuts are still wound up in the Christmas tree, but seems to be happy there. The ducks and even the pigs are invited to join the fun and eat all the mince pies and pudding. <laughs> Timmy's mum keeps Timmy close by, but he hasn't spotted Father Christmas out of the window yet. <laughs> and is that Timmy's Christmas toy behind the hay bales? I think it might be. Merry Christmas, Timmy, Sean and the rest of the flock. What an adventure you've had today. Well, what a brilliant window display. And I'm glad they found Timmy. Sean and the flock really saved the day. Now, did you at home guess this year's window theme? Let's take a quick look back at the hidden clues to check if you could see. You're so sneaky with those clues, but the biggest clue of all was you. We asked you to wear your woolliest jumpers today, so you were the biggest clue of the day. Don't forget, viewers, to share your most wonderful woolliest jumpers with us to celebrate all things Christmas. Thank you again to one and to all. We hope that, like us, you've had a ball. Don't forget to set reminders without any delay to tune in and watch Sean the Sheep, The Flight Before Christmas on BBC Christmas Day. And of course, come and see the windows in person this year. 
We hope you all have a very Merry Christmas, whether you're far or near. <laughs>